Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be swatching the new Sprinkles um, collection. I already did it like full, full now, full coverage. But I feel like it always looks a little bit different in ombre form. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, please excuse my numb ass fucking mouth. I just went to a dentist right now, bitch. And I'm numb AF. So I'm going to be using the Cover Pink Nude from my website as the foundation because that one I feel is the most natural out of all my nudes. I'm going to start off from number 13 and I'm going to work my way up to number 21. So this one is the is like a pink one. And I'm using, hold on, let me switch my brush because since I'm going to be doing an ombre, I don't really need a really big brush. I'm going to be using my number 12 crystal AB handle. Alright, so normally depending on what it is that I'm doing or working on or the length of the nail is what will determine the size of my brush. And I don't want too, too much product, so I'm going to use the number 12. And I'm just going to let this kind of start setting because the temperature in my room here is a little cold. Actually, let me put on a glove because these nails are ugly. You know what? I'll do that in the next color because no quiero que se me seque. So pretty much I'm just going to drag it down. And then lightly brush it up. And then depending on how ombre how high you want your ombre is how how you're gonna brush so i'm gonna pull it up a little bit more because you know honey we need a little bit more glitter on this big ass nail and if you fucking want it to go a little higher without wasting anymore just grab the one from your napkin and do it up to wherever you want so this is what this color looks like this is number 13 and i am using my smooth set monomer the monomer plays a big role in the setting time of your powders because some of them dry slower some of them dry faster so ooh, honey so pretty Depending on the brand that you're using, your powder could um, dry faster or slower. All right, there. I need a little bit more minimum. So today I met one of my little followers on YouTube. If you're watching, girlfriend, hey, I met her at the at the dentist. It was pretty cool. We we chismeamos un ratito. Ooh, this color is so pretty. So the thing with glitters is that they're really easy to work with, but um. Ay, wait, I can't even fucking talk right. I'm over here trying to swallow my saliva y como que I'm making funny noises. A little goes a long way with glitter. So, para no perdiciar el product, just apply a little bit and move it around as you like. So, you can tell my napkin that I kind of have some here. So, if you feel like you need another one up here or whatever, tú nomás ponlo. Porque está bendito, eh? You should not be wasting product. Look how pretty. I feel like the glitters when they're in an ombre como que lucen más than when they're like super full. I mean, girl, they look popping as fuck too, but like para los que les gusta poquito glitter, like kind of be normal. But you want a little sparkle in your life, girlfriend? I recommend an ombre. So that's number 14. Next, number 15. 
I have a client that's coming in in a little while. So I was like, you know what, girl? Meanwhile, let me just do some little swatches because these colors are bomb. And como que they need some love. This green one is so cute. I kind of feel like doing my nails green. Pero como que, I don't know. I don't know if I should do it on myself or I should do it on my doll. On my little homie hand. Let me know in the comments if I should do my nails green. And if so, which kind of green out of these three, which number do you think that I should do on my nails? Number 15, which is this one? Number 16 or number 18? Well, yeah, okay, I swatched the other ones, you'll be like, oh, I like that one better. Da, 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 da. I haven't done green in like two years. So, I'm lying. I did it in, in, I forgot what month, but it was like the dark green. I feel like I need a bright green in my life, like some bright colors. Now this one, I'm just gonna throw it up there. And you know what, a ombre does not have to be like hella perfect, like matchy matchy every finger. Tú no más, échale, like, bitch, I one right there, one right there. Like, don't beat yourself up. They don't always have to look the same. Look, the little sprinkles are all in a different place and that's the, Fun thing about ombres, especially with glitter, you know. All right, so number sixteen, and then two. I forgot to shake them, so make sure to shake any glitter acrylic, well, even the colored ones, um, so that the acrylic can mix with the glitter. Because that's why sometimes como que no se mueven because there's too much glitter and not enough acrylic in there. And that's my fault because a bitch didn't shake it up. Like right here. See how como que nomás está allí aplastadita? No worry, honey. Just put a little bit more monomer and it starts to, to set slowly. See? Como que ya está ready. That's how you know when the acrylic is a little bit more ready to start moving around. And also, um, solid acrylics be like that too. If they're a little like stiffy right there, give them a couple seconds and they will start to move. So, how's everybody's day going? Mine, so good so far. I had to wake up earlier and come to the dentist. My tongue is fucking... Um, numb, my whole cheek is numb. Oh, I don't even know if I showed you guys the other green. So, they look kind of similar, but this one is more like yellow green. And this one is more like, um, so this one I would consider more like lemon. And this one's a lime. They're both really, really pretty. I'm low-key doing these swatches so my clients can be like, Oh my god, I want the color. I do that all the time. Like, all my new shit. This one's number 17. All my new stuff, I always leave it in front of their face so that they can be like, check it out. Nail porn, honey. So they could be like, oh, what's new? Or sometimes they don't even ask. They just be like, is this new? And I'm like, yes, girl. Y como que it's like the new new shit is what they love, you know? They want to be the first ones to wear it. So if you guys ever want your clients to try something new new, just make sure to just put it in their face. Like leave it on your desk somewhere and then they're going to be like, oh my God, it's so pretty. I love this one. This one reminds me of like a piña. Piña colada. No, not piña colada. Like limon y orange at the same time. 
check it out. Come on, use the good phone. Can you focus? This is one of my favorite colors up in here. Look at. Ooh, la la. So what I really like about this collection is that there is like matte glitters in there. So the some of the colored little pieces are matte. Um, and then it has like iridescent for like pieces in there too. So you get like a little combo. I'm sorry if I keep going like it's just like a bitch is numb. A bitch is numb here and she's struggling to get her saliva to the back of her throat and shit. Porque pues no, no me puedo mover muy bien el pincho si corita. So I don't, I don't know how to like move my saliva back there. Y luego los lips are dry AF, so girlfriend. I'm suffering right now. I can't even drink my coffee because actually I could. I don't get a straw. So I'm so excited. Right now I was removing the acrylic on my nails. You know what that means. Nail video. My nails. My client that is coming right now, she wears really little nails. So I'm excited to record that for you guys because... I think these are going to be the shortest nails on my channel so far. So check it out. This one is another greeny one, but this one has a little bit more like turquoise going on in it. It's like green and then it's turquoise. It's like green and then it's turquoise and then it's green, you know? Okay. All right. So this one is number 19. This is. Another, oh, bitch, I keep saying they're all my favorites, but you know what? They are fucking beautiful. So these are already available on my website as a whole set. I want to say um, it's $104, so it's pretty much like you get a color for free if you get the whole set together. I will be putting them individually later today, I'm hoping. I mean, depending on when I upload this video, they'll probably already be up. Um, depending on when I get home, because my internet, like, on the go, bitch, ain't that good. Porque, pues, siempre ando en el pinche YouTube o en Pandora, and I use up my whole data. So, it's kind of impossible for me to upload a video if I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi. Y luego... Pa acabarla, my Wi-Fi fucking sucks ass. So, this will probably be up either later tonight or early morning on Wednesday, honey. So, make sure to grab you some glitters because they are beautiful. These are perfect for the spring or for the, the summer. Because for spring, I feel like some people like pastel colors, but other people like bright colors, you know? So, say, va de los dos. I'm more of a, of a bright. I don't really like pastel. Like, they're cute and everything, but they're a little too sad. They're a little too sad for me. Oh, shit. My client told me she's almost here. What time is it? All right, let her the fuck up, bitch, and finish the last two. Alright, shaky, shaky, shaky. Ooh, honey, so pretty. And I just want to thank everybody that continues to watch my little videitos because you guys are my little supporters. This is the way that you can support me without buying anything. You guys don't have to buy nothing. I just appreciate if you give me a little thumbs up, leave me a little comment, you know. Because I definitely understand that we broke right now for the quarantine. You know, now we all have to get to work and shit. Like, yo aquí, me pinche pobre, me tengo que poner a trabajar. Tengo que hacer uñas. Y luego los videitos, you know, isn't like my little hobby, but... You guys make me want to like record more stuff because you guys be showing me some love. 
the other day I forgot who the fuck I was mentioning to, but I was like, oh my god, si me quieren, mis perras and then YouTube. Even though I be having like a little hater to coming through, but you know what? What's up, girlfriend? Without one of those or two little haters giving me thumbs down or who knows what they be doing behind my back. Como que, no, like, it's too good to be true, you know? Pero saben que, I'm used to it because it's the la middle school. No me querían. No me querían las hijas de perra en la escuela. But, girl, I'm used to it. Ooh, honey, so pretty. So, let me tell you guys a quick little story time. I think I was in 8th grade. I was in 8th grade and... Me quería bien cholía, según yo. Like, when I was in 8th grade was when I started my little rebeldia, you know? I feel like everybody goes through a different time... Goes through something different in their life. Well, me, my influence, my role model was my brother and he was a cholo. So, bitch, you know what? Yo me quería pinche chola sin barrio. Um, so, anyway, let's get to the story. In 8th grade, yo era bien... No era peleonera. But también no me va a dejar, you know? Because I was like, perfect, bitch. My only bully is my brother, bitch. So then, how do you call it? Um, I ended up joining a little crew in school. And this guy went up to me and shit. And no, I'm lying. Yo no me llevaba bien con un guy. I don't even remember fucking why. But the point was that he hated me so much for whatever reason that he decides to, I think, this is how it went down. I don't fucking know. So if you're one of those bitches that want to fuck me up, leave me a comment and tell me what the real reason was because I don't fucking know. I'm just trying to tell a story here of what I think. So I went up to him. No, he goes and tells his girl from a gang, bitch, from a fucking gang. Like, I can't believe kids actually join gangs in, like, middle school. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Yo era, yo me creía pinche chola, pero yo no era chola. Um, so how to call it? He goes and tells this girl that I'm fucking talking shit so she could go fuck me up. And she goes up to me in lunch and she's like, how are you fucking talking shit or whatever? And I'm like, the fuck, who the fuck are you, bitch? Like, I don't even know who the fuck you are. And then, um, she ends up telling me that somebody told her that I was talking shit about her barrio. And I'm like, um, where are you from, first of all? Um, I don't know who you is, girlfriend. And so then I'm like, who the fuck told you this? And she ended up telling me the guy who told her. And I was like, well, you know what? He lying. I don't even know who you are. And so I was fucking mad because I almost got my ass beat by this fucking chick. And mind you, I was chunky, but she was chunky -er. She was a big girl. So I was like, I'm going to get my ass fucked up right now. I'm going to get my ass fucked up. Hold on. Let me get this closer. I was like, I'm about to get my ass whooped, but you know what? Let me tell this bitch, I'm going to make it right. So I looked for the guy during lunch, and how to call it, um, oh, they're so pretty. And I went up to him, we started talking shit, and then I was like, what the fuck you telling her I'm talking shit, and you know what? And she was right there with me, and so long story short, lo dejé en vergüenza, because le rayé su pinche madre, and, um, Hold on, I'm trying to take pictures at the same time. Le rayé su pinche madre y el pendejo. So, I guess they were like plotting on like sending some bitches, his friends, to jump me. One of my friends found out and she told me. And I guess, I don't know who ratted to the counselor or to the dean. I have no idea. They ended up calling me to the office and telling me that I had to go home because... They heard rumors that they wanted to fight with me or whatever. So the dean was like, you better run to your house because if you get in a fight, you're going to be at fault because we're giving you time to go home. And I was like, what the fuck, bitch? I ain't going to run to my house. Why are you tripping? But low-key, I was fucking scared. I was like, bitch, me van a chingar estas pinches viejas. Or at least I didn't know how many there was, but... Tell me why there was like seven fucking bitches that wanted to fuck me up. And I was like, girl, 
You guys got me fucked up. So, long story short, they did not fuck me up because they little hoes. No más. Cuando están en bolas, se creen chingonas. Just the same on social media. They just talk shit to you when they're in a group. But when they're by yourself, they want to be your friends. Or they pretend. So, if you one of those, pinche palito, quédate ahí. If you one of those, suck my dick, bitch. Nice, no, kidding. I don't got one. But, yeah. So, that was the story. And so, those little haters of mine... We're no long, longer haters. They didn't even hate me. I don't even know why they just wanted to fuck me up. Because they were stupid. You know, when you're young, you're stupid and shit. Part of life. But here is the little swatches. Oh, se cayeron. Thank you guys for watching the little swatches with me. And I'll see you guys in my next little nail video. Don't forget to subscribe to my little channel if you haven't already done so. Share me with your friends, bitch, because we know people be bored at home, having nothing to do. Y mejor que se entretengan aquí conmigo, you know? Come chit-chat with Zulay. Alright, bye. See you guys next time.